Hello everyone, this is Lego Lover 117 coming at you with another video. And today we have my 117 subscriber QA answers video. That's right, this video is a bit long overdue. Uh, sadly, I've been busy, as you all heard. I had state testing this past week and it sucked. So, but it ended, so hooray. And I'm back on full uploading schedule as usual. And I'm ready to start answering some questions. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, I got my smartphone and I have the questions pulled up right here. So, um, there's actually a few questions from a buddy of mine, uh, Nick, who asked the questions over Skype. So I will be editing those in later. He'll probably be one of the last questions to put in. But um, I should have mentioned that you could ask me questions over Skype, but I didn't. Uh, whoops. <laughs> But, maybe in my next q and I'll do that, but, anyway, um, before y'all ask, no, I'm not going to be showing my face on camera in this video, um, I know some other users have done it, um, Oliver Duck comes to mind, he showed his face for the first time in his Q&A, uh, Mr. MPS2002, not his first q and I I don't believe, but in his most recent one, uh, he showed his face, but he's been showing his face a lot, but, he still did it, but I, I probably won't. I'm sorry, but I just don't feel comfortable doing that at this point. Um, especially since people at my school will probably track me down and laugh at me and all kinds of other stuff. But anyway, that's personal, and I don't want to. And I don't want to delve into a uh, sad topic because it's a happy video. So anyway, um, yeah, I'll be changing scenery throughout the video. Hopefully, to keep you guys entertained uh, hopefully so yeah um, let's go ahead and get started with the first question okay um, our first question comes to us from Torvance 800 something or other I can't really see that I'm uh, sorry about that there was a text message but uh, he asks what was the first Thomas Wooden Railway item you ever got? Um, that's an easy one, um, actually. It was the uh, 10 Years in America Special Pack. That's where I got my old style Thomas, and that's why that's very near and dear to my heart. That's also why I got, that's also where I got um, the Special Edition Coach. And during that time, I also got an old style Percy and this old style James over here. So I actually got three Wooden Railway items to start off with, but... I guess you could count it as one, really, but uh, that's why those three are very near and dear to my heart, and that's why I don't use a New Style Thomas in my series, because for one thing, I despise New Style Thomas. But we already knew that, didn't we? Our next question comes to us from uh, Oats Boats 14 and he asks, What's your favorite Thomas character? Well, um... I kind of already answered this in my uh, J. Louvier contest entry video, but as we all know, favorites change, and, well, it kind of has changed. It's shifted from one to two characters, really. I have two favorites. Uh, one favorite is, of course, Oliver, and for the reasons that I like his character, he's brave, he's good-hearted, he's just, he's just a kind soul to everyone he meets. But another favorite character of mine has to be this lovable diesel over here, Paxton. I mean, Paxton, he's just... He's just a lovable guy. I mean, he's just he's just so adorable in the way he talks. He's just he's so friendly to everyone and he just likes everyone. I mean, he's a friend of Diesel. I mean, no one's a friend of Diesel, but Paxton still gives him a chance. And I like to see that. So, but if I had to pick one, it would still have to go over to Oliver because I've I've just loved Oliver from day 1 and Sorry, Paxton. Nothing personal, dude, but if I had to pick one, it's Oliver. If I had to pick more than one, it's you. It's Paxton and Oliver. The next question comes to us from a very well-known user, DieselD199. And he asks, which Railway Series book is your favorite? Well, um, 
kind of no easy way to answer this, just because of the fact that I haven't read the entire Railway series, uh, book series yet. No, I've only read, like, I believe four or five books in the series. And those books that come to mind are James and the Diesel Engines, Mountain Engines, Enterprising Engines, um, James and the... No, I've already said that. Um, what was the other one? Uh, Duck and the Diesels, and the Twin Engines. But, of my favorites of that plethora, I have to say, Enterprising Engines was a very big favorite of mine, but also Mountain Engines was a very big favorite of mine, so it's a tie between those two. I'm not picking one, it's a tie. I don't like either one more or less than the other. So, yeah, Coldy, uh, you and the Flying Scotsman are pretty much equal on my scale, I suppose. Our next question comes from the Mophead himself, Thomas Number One Fan 101, aka my best buddy Jacob, and he asks, "Have you in Have you been enjoying the Skype calls with the Bleephead, known as me? And how much have you enjoyed c c collecting?" Well, to start off, yeah, I have been enjoying the Skype calls, dude. Uh, they are hilarious, and that's part of the reason why I started. What our Skype calls are like, but that'll, that'll come up in a future question. But um, as far as getting back into my Thomas fandom, uh, it's been great. I mean, it's been fun getting this huge collection. I mean, I'm going to point the camera over here. That's where I keep all my engines, okay? And that's just the engines. The rolling stock is in a separate bucket, but that's just the engines. And, you know, I mean, it's been awesome. I mean, I pretty much gave up on Thomas after the new series came out. I bought a bunch of DVDs with, like, Season 7, Season 8 content on it. Hated it. Never watched those again. Uh, I've gone back and watched them again. There's nothing good about them. Uh, one that comes to mind is the three-pack, that three-box set with track stars. Uh, Come Ride the Rails, and, um, I believe Tales from the Tracks, yes. I bought that three-pack, hated it, never watched those again until maybe a few months ago when, when I tried to redeem them. Did not work. Probably never going to watch them again. And, yeah, I basically gave up on it. I moved on from Thomas. Then one day I just said, hey, you know what, maybe I have this big box full of trains maybe I should make a series on YouTube and I did and here's where I am so yeah it's been a wild ride and it's not over yet because I'm I'm rapidly coming to my two-year anniversary and I cannot wait to show you all, all the items that I bought over this past year and so yeah I mean it's been a wild ride and is and it's been an amazing one, and I cannot wait for the for the future things to come. Our next, I guess you could say two questions, come from Sam Alcumbrak. Sorry if I butchered your name there, bro. Uh, first question, what does the fox say? The fox says that song got old too fast. Second question. What is your favorite TWR item? Well, it's the one you're staring at right now, the gray troublesome truck. Yeah, I know this isn't really high up in a lot of people's T TWR item list, but I think it's just it's so simplistic and it's so basic that it it, it works. I mean, it's like the troublesome brake fan. I mean, it's it's great. I mean, I was so happy to get one of these as a child, not because I knew that it, it was rare, but because I didn't have any trucks that had faces on them that looked like they did in the TV series. I mean, yeah, I had Scruffy, but, I mean, that wasn't enough for me, but 
I didn't have rickety at the time. So I was so thrilled when I bought this off off of a off of a off of a friend of mine for for fifty cents. Yeah, fifty cents, and I still love it right now. I mean, it's I mean that face, that face. It's just it's perfect. I mean, I'd like to have a white face, but you know, probably not gonna get one of those anytime soon. Thanks a lot, Oliver Duck. And speaking of uh, 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 Oliver Duck, our next question comes from him. And he says, if you could talk to a five-year-old, what would you say? You know, I'd probably say shut up and stop crying and go to bed. <laughs> but um, I don't really know. It would have... Well, what kind of question are you ask? Are they asking? That's the point. I mean, what exactly are they saying? I mean, if they're bugging me to death, I'll say shut up or something like that, but... I don't know. I mean, if yeah, I mean, if they want to talk about Thomas, then yeah, that's that's my speciality. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I really don't know what I'd say. I don't really have. I, I don't really know a, a lot of five-year-olds in my life. Our next question comes from T T T E Fan Forty, and he asks. Are you planning on doing more episodes of what our Skype calls are like? Because I'd like to be in one. And what is the rarest TWR item that you have ever bought? Well, um, for starters, yeah. I'm not canceling that series anytime soon. Um, that's still going to go strong. But, uh, I don't know exactly when you can be in one, dude. Um, usually not online when we're having a call, so, um, I really don't know when you'll be in one, but I can promise you that you will be in one before the series ends, which I don't know when that will happen. Maybe when I leave, but, I mean, y'all know it's gonna happen, right? I'm gonna leave someday, but that day is not today, so, uh, I don't know when you can be in one. When you you can be in one dude, um, I hope it's soon. You seem like a pretty cool guy, and yeah. As for the rarest Thomas Wynn Railway uh, uh, item, it, it'd probably have to be this, my '92 Netford coach, just because of the fact that well, it's not found very often, and not many people have it. And I got it at such a dirt cheap price. I mean, you guys saw it was three bucks. So, yeah, probably this. Uh, it's definitely he sought after. Uh, I know the rarest item items that, that I have that aren't TWR, but uh, we'll have to hold that off for a future video. You'll find out soon enough. But definitely this for the TWR item. Definitely this. Our next plethora of questions comes from my bro, uh, Shiloh. Um, his first question is, How did you meet your friends on Skype, mainly me and the people that you have talked to? Well, it really all started one day when Jacob, my best friend, uh, I don't have to mention that over and over, I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm going insane! But, um, yeah, I mean, it was basically, he had a bunch of friends from the wiki and he invited me into a call with them we sat around uh, we couldn't really get in um, but they invited us to a new group where where I met uh, Ben James uh, Carson Neil um, and a few others and you Shiloh I met you in that group too and that was actually where the fifth episode of what our Skype calls are like came around and I, I really meant that new friends for me because they were new friends I'd ever talked to these people and Ben was on a roll I swear if you all have, if you all have not seen that go back and watch that one he was on a roll with those parodies and Carson well he was on a roll in Gordon in Gordon goes nuclear go back and rewatch that one I, I think that's the ninth one oh my gosh that was 
That was hilarious. We did God and Gorge Nuclear and uh, Troublesome Grenades, I believe. And I think we're planning to do more in the future, so uh, go and, and uh, go back and check that one out. Um, our next question comes from, uh, well, comes from him, but his next question is, what made you start the channel? Well, um, Thomas Wynn Railway. Keek Ray really made me start this channel because, um, as you all know in my history, uh, I used to do Lego videos of my custom sets, which weren't very good. And I wasn't getting a lot of views on them in my first few months, so I took them all down, scrapped the idea, left for a little while. Then one day I found Kikre once more. I was like, well, Wooden Railway re reviews is having this contest. So I entered. I didn't win, but I thought I made a okay entry. I mean, it, I mean, it wasn't great, but it was okay to pass. And after I did that, I filmed my first three episodes, and, well, here we are today. So, yeah, Shiloh, um, it was really Key Gray and Wooden Railway re re reviews his contest that made me start this channel. Um, his next question is, how did What Our Skype Cars Like series come to be well um i don't really r remember all that much i mean i basically had this idea when i first started getting into skype when i first started getting into skype calls back when i first made my skype account back in 2013 seems like a long time ago doesn't it um actually i think it was back in 2012 it was back no wait it, it, it was 2013 it was February of that month, because I re remember it was around the Super Bowl. And <clears throat> that was back when I only had my iPod. I, I didn't have my tablet. I didn't have my smartphone. I didn't have any of this fancy technology. Back in my day, Sonny, we had a horse and a cart and a VHS tape. Sorry about that. <laughs> but... <clears throat> Yeah, I only had my iPod, and uh, it was really sucky. I really didn't get that much, uh, uh, a lot of calls. And then when I got my tablet, I really started getting back into calls, and I was like, hey, these calls are hilarious. Maybe I can make them into a YouTube series. And I did with my first pilot, except uh, I had that audio on my iPod for maybe three or four months before I finally got out to putting it out. Just because of the fact that uh, my old c computer that I don't have anymore uh, was older than me. I swear to you, it was older than me. And it ran, I don't know, it'd probably take you 20, maybe 30 m minutes for it to load up a page. So you could go have a drink, go get your homework done and wait for the page to load up or why you could do that so uh didn't have any movie maker or something like that on it and i didn't have any editing software so i couldn't make that video and and once i got my new computer uh the, the, the one that i filmed reactions on and I'm gonna do more of those I'm gonna pump those out as quickly as I can folks but w w w when I got that one I found that audio and said hey this was a pilot for that series I was planning on a, a few months back maybe I should go ahead and do this and I did and it was successful I mean the first four were a bit long and a bit boring they kind of dragged on there wasn't really a, a lot of humor in them I mean the Second one was just outtakes, really, and I just put that in there, named it Bloopers and Pranks, just because of the fact that, well, it was outtakes, and no one's really going to laugh at those. But, um, yeah, uh, well, and then after the fourth one, I kind of took a break from that series, because I didn't think I, 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 I was going to get into any more big group calls like that. For a while, there was some... There's some drama going on between a few people. I'm not going to say who. Uh, it's long gone now, so don't ask. And 
after I got in that Skype call with those with Ben and James and all and all of those guys, that's when the series I think really took off, just because of the fact that all the humor in the fifth one it's it's hilarious. I mean when I mean when Ben's in a Skype call, there's never never a dull moment. It, it was just hilarious, and yeah, and it really started to pick up with the ninth one, and then the tenth one was pretty funny too, and then the special special, that one was just over the top, and there's so many funny ones out there, and the fifteenth one, oh my gosh, you guys have to go and check out the fifteenth one if you haven't already seen it. It's a bit dirty at the first part, but it's it's hilarious, but anyway, uh, Moving on from that question, uh, his next one. Will your channel be better f from being much more professional? I am not saying that it needs to be, just I am curious. Well, I don't really get what you mean by that, Shiloh. I mean, I know I'm not a professional. I mean, heck, I can't get a word out in, in one sense while speaking clearly. And... Um, so I really don't know what you mean by that, but I guess it could get a little better, I suppose. I really don't get what you mean by that, Shiloh. You, you'll have to tell me, but I really don't know how to answer that because I don't get the meaning. Anyway, your last question, when is Thomas the Tablet and Friends coming out slash Thomas and the Tragic Fail Road? <laughs> okay, first of all, I need to tell everyone what Thomas the Tablet and Friends is. First of all, Thomas the Tablet and Friends is not a planned series. It was just a bunch of parodies that I had come up with one night when uh, Jacob's computer was on the fritz and I made some parodies up. Uh, I'm gonna... They should be coming up right now. So yeah, I made some parodies of like uh, Thomas. Yeah, it's tricked. Um, Pop goes the diesel and those like that, and put in lines like hard drives and uh, laptops and stuff like that. But uh, Shiloh and Jacob really seem to like it, and Shiloh wants me to make it into a full-blown series, which it is pretty funny, I'll have to say. It's some of my best work on parodies, but um, I don't know how I'm going to be able to make it. I really don't have a premise just yet. It's not a priority right now, <laughs> but I don't, think it'll, I don't think it'll come out until I have CGI access. So, yeah, it's it was never planned to be made into a full and to be made into a full-blown series but if you want it to, to, to be into a series series Shiloh maybe maybe when I when I get a bit older and we have some CGI stuff to play with maybe and as for Thomas and the Tragic Fail Road um, that was just a bunch of parodies again I wrote um, it's it's in the tenth what our Skype calls are like, and, um, yeah, basically, I just wrote some parody scenes of Thomas and the Magic Railroad, and got Jacob and Shiloh to voice act, I even got Johnny to voice act, to play Arabic Diesel 10, la 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 la, that's my, that's my favorite part, then we did a director's cut of that, and oh my gosh, viewers, if you do not like dirty stuff, you do not need to go watch that video, I'm, I am serious, they were improvising so much from the script, and um, if you if if you mean the sequel 
which yes, there is going to be a sequel. Um, it's not going to be new scenes, like newly written scenes. It's just going to be like other scenes from Magic Rare World that I didn't parody. Um, we're actually in the process of shooting that right now. We can't shoot it until Jacob grabs his computer and gets that fixed, and if Shiloh will ever get online. But, as for right now, the sequel, I don't know when that's planned to come out. I really don't. Maybe in a few months or so. But, um, as for a parody in a wooden railway-wise, Ra, blah. As for a parody in a wooden r r railway was, um, you know, I'm always open to that idea. I mean, I would like to see it in Wooden Railway form. I mean, I have the tech to do it. I have, all, all, all I need is the time and the effort. And I would like to see it happen. I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. I'm sorry, Shiloh, but, um, maybe in the, f in the, in the coming future, if I get the time, I mean, hopefully. Hopefully, but anyway, that was Shiloh's last question. He asked a, at least five or four. So, anyway, thanks for asking so many questions, Shiloh, and let's move on. He's a really useful drug dealer, you know. All the other stoners, they'll tell you so. He huffs and puffs and snorts, dealing to and fro. He's a really useful drug drugger that you know. He's a really useful drug drugger, you know. As the fat ass, he'll tell you so. Now he's got his own stash to call his very own. He's a really useful drugger, you know. He's the one. He's the number one, Thomas the Tank Engine. He's the real useful drugger we adore. <laughs> the following question was not asked on the Q&A uh, video, but it was asked on a separate video. Um, and this user asked me to answer it in this video so I will um, the question comes from angry bird fan 98 uh, who I've actually talked to um, on Skype he's a pretty nice dude and he asks can you get a VHS called choo choo Christmas um well I don't really know dude I mean I've really never heard of it I've seen the cover I don't really know if I want it or not I mean it would be a blind buy, and for one thing, I really don't have a lot of cash left. Uh, I, I uh, really need to earn some, but I guess I could, just not in the near future. Our last three questions come from my bro, Nick, otherwise known as NWB1989. And he asks, his first question, he asked over Skype, just gonna give you proof. There's the question. I'm going to read it to you. Are you more likely to find any Ringo Starr U.S. VHS cases as well as any other red tapes? Well, Nick, I don't really know. Because of the fact that, well, they're so rare. They're so uncommon. I mean, I know I just recently got the Thomas Gets Trick red tape, and I've had the James Learns a Lesson red tape, and I don't... I hope I find some more in the future, but I can't guarantee it. Just because of the fact that they're so rare, they're so uncommon, no one really ever found, I don't think, more than three or two. I mean, no one has all of them. I can tell you that right now. At least from what I know. Don't quote me on this. But from what I know, no one has all four. That's right. Better late than never. Never got a red one. Because that one was out in the late 90s. Uh, actually, early 90s, 1991 or so, I believe. But I hope I get to find some more, but I can't guarantee that I will. Our next question from Nick is, What was your favorite Thomas VHS you've ever owned or put into your collection so far? That's an easy one, Nick. Thomas comes... 
to breakfast. And that's because of the fact that, well, I've had that one ever since I was young. That was the first VHS I ever got of Thomas. Um, my reprint is what I'm talking about, not my uh, 90s print. Uh, my reprint from around 2000 or so. Uh, I had one when I was young, around maybe three or four. From 2002, I believe. Uh, it's not in the cover. Well, it's in the cover style, but not the tape style. Eh. It has, like, the tape style of, like, later reprints of Spills and Shields and stuff like that. But, um, sadly, uh, actually, uh, I've moved houses, um, two times in my life. Uh, I haven't moved cities, haven't moved states, just moved houses into different neighborhoods, into bigger houses over time. And, um, the movers we chose for, to move from my first house to the second house, they were not very good at all. And sadly, um, my Thomas Comes to Breakfast VHS tape fell victim to my mover's carelessness, I should say. And it broke in the move, unfortunately. I mean, the top was shattered and the film was just bulging out in every way, shape, and form. And I was v so upset about that. Um, I was probably upset about it for a few days. I mean, it really hurt me, but I I got over it over time, and I said, you know what, I'm never gonna. And our final question from Nick is, what's your favorite series? What is your favorite season from the Thomas and from the Thomas and Prince TV series? Season five, no questions about it. Season five is just a great season. Um, it had action, it had drama, it had a Michael Bay explosion. I mean, come on, don't tell me that's not cool. And, I mean, it had everything you could want in the Thomas season. It really upped the stakes for Thomas, too. Sadly, no other season has gone back to that territory uh, yet. But, yeah, I mean, I don't think if they went back to it, they could... Re recreate the uh, the the thrillers I would say that season five had because it was the first season that ever did thrillers I think and so yeah season five no questions asked. And, of course, I can't really see anything wrong with Season 5. I mean, almost all the almost all the uh, episodes in it were excellent. And okay, maybe there were some duds, but not many. And there was one question that I expected at least someone to ask, but turns out no one did, so I'm just going to go ahead and answer it. Um, why do I stutter? Well, not because of nerves. Like, I'm nervous. I'm not nervous talking to a bunch of Legos right now. Of course, you can see I've changed themes here, because, you know, this isn't really Thomas-themed question. So I'm just going to go to my Legos. Yeah. But, um... Uh, why do I stutter? Um, really? My stutter has always been there since day one. When I was younger, around two or so, I had a little trouble trying to learn how to talk. And I think that's where the stutter began. Um, I don't think it's a form of, uh, autism. Um, it may as well could be. But, um... To be honest with all of you, I really don't know why, I just do. I mean, uh, maybe it's because I'm talking too fast, and maybe it's a form of autism. I don't know, really. I mean, and I really can't, I really can't give you all a firm answer on why I stutter. I just do. And it's been there all my life, and I've just had to live with it. And of course, in the age of computers and such, I can use 
Camtasia to cut out my stutters, and which I've been doing um, to make my videos a bit more viewable. Because um, I've tried to rewatch some of my older ones, and they're not very watchable, really. But not saying that to hark on myself. I mean, I'll hark on myself all day. Like, hey, dude, yeah, you're ugly. Oh man, see, I just harked on myself right there. <laughs> but anyway, the answer, I don't really know why I just do it. And I've been made fun of for it all my life, and it really sucks that this world is such a cruel and mean place. But um, that delves into my history, and I don't really want to get into that. But it, but anyway, um, why do I stutter? I just do it, and I can't stop it. So before I go guys, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who commented a question and basically for helping me to make my first Q&A a a success really and it was great to answer all all of these questions and just to let just to let you guys know a uh, some about me and I hope to come back and do a second one at some point I don't really know when but hopefully it'll be around maybe 200 subscribers I don't know but again I just wanted to mix it up a bit with making it 117 cuz you know my username and all that but and so uh, yeah thank you all once again and um, my two-year anniversary is of course coming up so keep your eyes open for that video and, well, and, well, there's not really much, well, there's not much else to, uh, say, except. We'll be seeing y'all in the near future. Say it with me, guys. Good night, everybody! That was the engines talking. Not me, I swear. It was them.